Okay, the video of the blood taken and the urine from the cat. How was the cat? One, one year plus, right? The male. I think. Put the cat now. Today, one year. May 5th, 2016. Okay, the cat is here. Let's go and see the cat. We just, uh, after taking the blood, we'll give a drip. Now what happened is, this cat was hospitalized by, by another clinic under emergency. Emergency a ultra obstruction couldn't pee. So the vet had had uh, put in a urinary catheter and had uh, unblocked the bladder. So it was hospitalized for about three days. It's probably cost the owner nine hundred dollars, and uh, so the owner discharged the cat to come to here, and she cannot afford the hundred fifty dollars per night hospitalization. And uh, the thing is, the bladder is not so swollen as an orange, and. Uh, so we took a urine for analysis and a blood test as probably the owner did, did not want it to be done or for some reason the first vet did not do it and the first vet did advise x-ray as well but uh, the owner did not want or did not give permission for x-ray so now we had taken blood to check the state of the kidneys as well as uh, the urine for analysis. Uh, we, we don't do x-ray due to economic reasons and uh, the cat as you can see, although it, I want to say it, it could be eating but uh, it wasn't in a good health. It's a male, not neutered. Young cat. So now we are running a drip of Hartman, Hartman, and uh, we'll wait and see how the cat will respond for two days. We just given the the drip at the other vet. The drip was given for I think two days or three days, yeah. and uh, painkillers were given. There's a strong uremic smell, but uh, other than that, other than that, uh, the cat looks very, very uh, weak. Doesn't like the e collar. But I was. Take it off.